Recipe Easy Vegetarian Meat Loaf Vegetarian meat loaf makes a for an all-American comfort food for vegetarians. This vegetarian loaf recipe is both vegetarian and vegan. Vegan Most vegetarian meat loaf recipes use lentils, rice, nuts, or a combination of all three for a base, but this one is made from store-bought mock meat, making it extra meaty for meat lovers and for anyone with a lentil aversion or nut allergy. Vegetarian loaves are always best drizzled with lots of ketchup, in my opinion, so don't skimp on the ketchup. If you like meatloaf, and even if you really, really don't, you'll probably like this very similar lower fat, poor fat, and cholesterol-free vegetarian and vegan meatloaf recipe. Top it all off with your favorite vegetarian gravy, add a side salad, and you've got yourself an awesome vegan dinner, or even a vegetarian Thanksgiving entree, entree. What you'll need 3 cloves garlic, minced, minced, 1 onion, diced 1 green or red bell pepper, diced 3 tablespoons vegetable or olive oil, oil 1 fourth cup oatmeal, uncooked, cooked 2 slices of bread, crumbled 3 tablespoons ketchup Ketchup, 1 tablespoon garlic salt. 2 packages gimme lean ground beef substitute. Half teaspoon pepper. 1 fourth cup ketchup. Ketchup, 1 fourth cup brown sugar. Half teaspoon dry mustard. Mustard, half teaspoon nutmeg. How to make it? First, preheat the oven to 375 degrees and lightly grease a loaf pan. Second, saute the garlic, onion and bell peppers in olive oil for a few minutes, until onions are very soft, be soft. Third, in a large bowl, combine the onions and peppers with the ground beef substitute oatmeal, breadcrumbs, 3 tablespoons of ketchup, garlic salt, and pepper. Mix well, using your hands if needed, if needed. Fourth, press into a lightly greased loaf pan. Cover with foil and bake for 30 minutes. Remove from the oven when done. Fifth, combine ketchup, brown sugar, dry mustard and optional nutmeg, whisking together until smooth. Spread or drizzle this topping over the top of the loaf. Cook, uncovered, for another 15 minutes, or until done. Sixth, you're probably going to want to let your vegetarian meatloaf cool a fair amount before slicing into it to serve. Keep your loaf uncovered as it cools in order to allow a bit of extra moisture to release. This will help with allowing the loaf to firm up a bit as it cools. Cools. 7. After it has cooled for a few minutes, slice it up and enjoy. A. I always serve a vegetarian loaf with vegetarian gravy, I like a homemade mushroom gravy with my loaves, and, preferably, some homemade mashed potatoes, too. Or, serve up your vegetarian and vegan loaf with a simple side green salad, and you've got yourself a meal. Enjoy! Thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel please, please.